All right. All right. The book of Ezra. All right. Give honor to my aunt, Minister Erica Brown. She's in attendance. Amen. She's on the ministerial staff at Joshua Harvest. Okay. And he released her to come be with me today. Amen. Amen. We're going to go to Ezra chapter 9. I'm going to be reading out the NIV. You may be reading out the King James or the New King James. It's going to read a little different. But trust me, it's the same word of God. I'm probably going to walk around. I might take my tie off. I don't like to feel restricted. I don't like the microphone in my face. Amen. I talk loud enough. I probably won't even need it. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Amen. We're going to read out the book of Ezra. Everybody there? Yeah. Ezra chapter 9. When you get it, would you stand your feet, please? I might speed ball a little bit. I go a little fast, so stay with me. Amen? Amen. If you can't catch me, just say E, slow up, and I'll back that thing up, all right? I got you. I got you. We're going to read Ezra chapter 9, and I'm going to read just the last foundation, verses 9, verses 10 through 14. And once again, I said I'm going to be reading out the NIV. Is that all right? Yes, that's all right. Ezra 9, 10 through 14. And the word of God reads, But now, O God, mm -hmm. what can we say after this? Yeah. For, we, for we have disregarded the commands mm -hmm. you gave through your servants the prophet when you said, The land you are entering to possess is a land polluted by the corruption of its people. By the detestable practices they have filled it with their impurity from one end to to another. Wow. Watch this. This is very important. This verse right here, number 12. Therefore, do not give your daughters in marriage to their sons or take their daughters for your sons. Do not seek a treaty of friendship. Watch this. With them at any time that you may be strong and eat the good things of the land and leave it to your children as an everlasting inheritance. Okay. Verse 13. What has happened to us, watch this, is a result of our evil deeds. Wow. In our great guilt, and yet, our God, you have punished us less than our sins have deserved mm. and given us a remnant like this. It says he has punished us less mm -hmm. than our sins deserved. Amen? Amen. Verse 14, very important. If, you, if, you, if, you, if, if, if you're a Bible scholar or you like to study, underline this. Shall we again break your commands? Very important. Again. And again, wow. shall we again Talk. break your commands mm -hmm. and intermarry? Very important. Intermarry with the people who commit such detestable practices. Wow. Now watch this. Would you not be angry enough with us to destroy us, leaving us no remnant or survivor? Mm -hmm. He will be angry enough to completely annihilate and destroy us. Amen? Amen. The topic of my message today is, I want a divorce. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen? Amen. 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 Will somebody please say, I want, I want a, divorce. a divorce. Father, we thank you right now, Father God. We bless you, Father God, for all you've done for us, known and unknown, seen and unseen, Father God. Father, bless this house right now, Father God. Let the Holy Ghost fall in here like never before, Father God. Touch me right now, Father God. Touch my voice. Touch my throat. Touch my larynx, Father God. I'm just a tool that you use. I'm nothing but some clay you've molded together and blew the breath of life into, Father God. Use me to feed your sheep, Father God. Father, I pray this right now in the matchless name of the Master, I pray. Amen. 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 I want a divorce. You may be seated. I want a divorce. If you would, just stay with me. I'm going to lay the groundwork. I'm going to lay a plate. And then I'm going to feed you. Amen. Amen. What we have here in the book of Ezra is, 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 a, is, a, is an accumulation of things. When the children of Israel were released out of bondage in around 445 B.C., the Lord gave them some commandments. He gave them some commands and demands. He told them what to do and what not to do. He said, he said, don't worship other idols. He said, he said, follow me. He said, keep my laws and my commandments and my statutes. And he said, do not intermarry with the foreign people and the foreign women. Do not give your sons in the marriage to their daughters. And do not take them for your wives. Amen. Amen. Stay with me because I'm going somewhere. He said, do not mess with these people at all. Amen. He said, but if you do, 
I'm going to again allow you to go back into slavery from which you came. Amen. Amen. But Israel being Israel and being hard headed like we do, people are creatures of habit. Yeah. They disobeyed the law. They intermarried with the foreign women mm -hmm. and, 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 and they were corrupted. Amen. Amen. So what God did is he let the Assyrians and the Babylonians mm -hmm. to take the children of Israel captive for 70 years. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. So now they were in captive again for 70 more years. Wow. Then they cried out to the Lord. Uh -huh. God being a forgiving God, mm -hmm. he sent Cyrus the Persian, mm -hmm. a sinning man, a non-believing man. He sent a, a sinner to deliver him. Mm -hmm. And around 539 B.C., Cyrus the Persian came along and he overthrew Babylon and the Assyrians and he and he freed the children of Israel yeah. once again. Amen. Once again. This Amen. is where we are right now in the text. We have Ezra, the scribe. His name means Jehovah helps. He, his character is unmatched in the Bible. The Bible says that he set his ways to study the laws and statutes of the Lord and not only study them, but to teach them to the children of Israel. Come on, preacher, come this on. is the man that's writing the text right now. Right. So, so we have Ezra, Ezra here, and, and Ezra is crying and weeping to the Lord because once again, after they were delivered, after the walls were getting built, after the temple was getting rebuilt, right. once again, the children are disobeying. Uh -huh. oh. Wow. Once again, somebody say, I want a divorce. I want a divorce. I want a divorce. Uh -huh. Okay, so now we're going to pick up the text. Chapter 9, we're going to start at verse 1. Mm -hmm. Stay with me because I'm going somewhere. Trust me, it's going to get tricky in just a minute. Mm -hmm. It says, after these things had been done, after Cyrus the Persian delivered the children of Israel and the walls were getting built, after these things had been done, the leaders came to me, Ezra, and said, the people of Israel, watch this, mm -hmm. including the priests and Levites, mm -hmm. Have not kept themselves separated from the neighboring peoples with their detestable practices like those of the Canaanites, Hittites, Perizzites, Jebusites, Ammonites, Moabites, Egyptians, and Amorites. Wow. They have taken, very important, they have taken mm -hmm. some of their daughters as wives for themselves mm -hmm. and their sons and have mingled the holy race mm -hmm. with the people around them. Mm -hmm. They did it again. Yeah. God told them not to do it. They did it. He took them in the bondage. 70 years. They cried out. He released them. He told